Hey guys, how are you? So somebody asked me, what's going to happen to server-side programming 10 years from now? So in a nutshell, I think that server-side programming will be strong, strong indeed 10 years from now, and there's a few reasons for it. Do I think it's going to be even bigger than it is now? I don't know. Uh, I think it's huge, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it can get much bigger. So why do I think that server-side programming is going to remain important? comes down to a few things. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about web stack. You talk full stack, front end, back end. Server side programming is just back end programming. So you could do this with uh, JavaScript and Node, Java, C Sharp, PHP. You could do this with Python. You can do this with Ruby, Perl, and other languages as well. So why do I think that server side programming is going to be a very strong force going forward? because there's so many advantages to server-side programming versus traditional uh, native app development, whether it be for Android, iOS, or Windows, or Mac. There's so many advantages that unless you have to, unless you have to go native, you want to use server-side development, which would suggest, of course, web development. Now, the advantages are that you have to write one code base and you can handle or have people who are using many different platforms access your application. That's the huge advantage. That's it's massive because you don't want to have to maintain more than one code base. The downside traditionally to web app development, server-side and otherwise, was uh, number one, latency, meaning the lack of responsiveness in your application. And this came down to two things, bandwidth, number one, and number two, how fast the computers or the smartphone was. These days, it's a non-issue. Today, high-speed internet is basically par for the course. Everybody's got it. And it's just getting faster and faster and faster. And today, smartphones and computers are so fast that the latency issue, meaning the lack of speed or, uh, you know, the less speedy responsiveness, if you will, of a web app versus native is practically non-existent in many circumstances. And with every passing year, as the programming languages involved in server-side programming become more efficient, as the frameworks that we use become more efficient, as the bandwidth uh, the internet speeds become faster and faster. And as the computers themselves become faster and faster, the difference in perceived speed between native development and web development becomes a non-issue. Somebody put this question to me within the context of Python. They were looking at Python, Python Django for web development. Now, as he pointed out in the email, uh, Python, much of the development is not web. There is a strong web component to it, but really Python's wild popularity has much more to do with AI and data science and I'll call it general programming. For example, Python will be used to automate server farms for rendering engines. That is Python's strength, its flexibility. So will Python be used for web app development for server-side programming in 10 years? I would say probably. Will it become the dominant player? I'd say probably not. I think now the top 10 players, languages, frameworks in the, uh, in, in, in the tools that we have out there now, JavaScript, C Sharp, uh, Python, PHP, Ruby, et cetera, et cetera, I think they're pretty settled. You know, there'll be shifts here and there where one may gain a little bit more popularity than another. But you have to understand all of the top languages these days are at least, I think most of them are at least 20 years old, 25 years old. JavaScript was put out in 95, Java 95, C Sharp 2000. I think um, Python was like 94, although don't quote me on that. You get the idea. PHP was, I don't know, 95, 97, 98, something like that. I don't know. They're all pretty uh, long in the tooth languages, meaning they've been around a long time and they're so well established. And this is normal in any industry where in the initial stages when an industry is starting, in those initial stages, you'll see a lot of rapid changes, uh, a lot of technology is dying off, others replacing it. But then you get to a point where the uh, rate 
of change really flattens out quite a bit. And we hit there, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, something like that. We're pretty static now in terms of those type of things. The big changes, as I said in many videos, is really in the server technology, the hosting options, cloud hosting, uh, uh, you know, auto-scaling databases, that kind of thing, DevOps. Not so much the languages and frameworks we use to build apps. So yeah, long story short, yes, server-side programming will be here in 10 years, guaranteed. It will still be very popular, and in fact, it's going to become more useful because of the increased speed and everything uh, in the underlying technology that we use to uh, implement and to deploy our server-side applications. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Uncle Steph. I run a mentoring program and bootcamp. Links below. If you want to save yourself 10, 20 years of trying to become a professional developer, you may want to check out the bootcamp. What makes my bootcamp very different from others is that I've been in the game since 94, and I have a proven track record of not only building apps, but taking apps to market successfully and training people who have gone on to work for Fangs. And my superstar student even is a founder of a $1.5 billion startup. So anyway, if you have any questions about this video or any general questions, put them under the video.